This isn't just a new engine. It's a question whispered beneath the noise of traffic. What if everything we thought we knew about fueling cars is wrong? Not just outdated, but unnecessary. No pumps, no plugs, just water. Plain, silent water. Toyota, the same company that made hybrids mainstream, is now chasing something far bolder. A future where cars don't pollute, don't pause, and don't cause the earth to keep moving. It sounds impossible, but the prototypes are already built. Chemistry is ancient, and the consequences, if they're right, could change everything on the road. What exactly is Toyota planning? And why is the industry so quiet about it? Gasoline and EVs are both broken. Look around any city and you'll see fumes, noise and gridlock. But it's what you don't see that's worse. Nearly every car is part of a global system built on burning fuel. Over 1.4 billion vehicles and most still rely on gasoline or diesel. It's reliable, but it's also harmful not just to the planet but to people. Gas prices spike with every crisis. Breathing the air near highways raises your risk of illness. And while electric vehicles promise a cleaner future, they're not the complete solution we once imagined. Batteries depend on rare metals mined in difficult conditions. Charging takes time, and the infrastructure is still patchy in much of the world. The truth is uncomfortable. Both gasoline and electric vehicles carry hidden costs, and most of us don't get to see them until it's too late. That's why Toyota isn't just making a better engine, they're rewriting the rulebook. Because if there's a way to power a car using something as simple as water, it could pull us out of this mess without replacing one problem with another. Why EVs can't finish the job? Electric cars were supposed to be the clean brake. Quiet motors, no tailpipes, just plug in and drive. But the closer we look, the more cracks we find. The biggest is cost. Even now, electric vehicles cost thousands more than their gasoline rivals. Not because of the motor, but because of the battery. Lithium-ion batteries are expensive to make and worse, expensive to mine. Entire mountains are stripped in Chile and Bolivia to extract lithium. Cobalt, often sourced from the Congo, comes at a high cost. And then there's time. A full charge at home can take half a day. Even fast chargers demand you sit and wait far longer than filling a gas tank. That's fine for daily errands, but for long trips, it's a deal breaker. Infrastructure lags behind demand especially outside major cities. Charging deserts are real. Electric cars still create environmental impact, just not where you see it. The factories, the mines, and the energy grids behind them all leave marks. So, while EVs are a step forward, they aren't the finish line. If there's a way to move past batteries altogether, people are ready to listen, and Toyota knows it. Hydrogen the element everyone overlooked, before batteries took the spotlight, there was another idea quietly floating in the background. Hydrogen, the lightest element in the universe and one of the most abundant, but for decades it was written off. Too expensive, too unstable, too futuristic. Yet now, as the cracks in battery-powered progress grow wider, hydrogen is stepping forward again. And this time, it's ready. Unlike batteries, hydrogen doesn't need to be mined in bulk. It can be made from water. And when used in a fuel cell, it doesn't burn or explode, it simply reacts. Hydrogen meets oxygen, electricity flows, and the only byproduct is water vapor. That's it. No smoke, no smog. What makes hydrogen powerful isn't just how clean it is, but how fast it works. Refueling takes minutes, not hours. The range isn't a limitation. And unlike batteries, which get heavier with more power, Hydrogen stays light and scalable. Long-haul trucks, planes, buses, hydrogen works where lithium struggles. For Toyota, hydrogen isn't a backup plan. It's the future they've been quietly building toward. While other automakers doubled down on EVs, Toyota kept working on something few believed in, and now they're ready to show why everyone else might have bet on the wrong tech. Toyota's water-powered breakthrough doesn't involve magic or myth. It's electrolysis splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. What makes their version different is how efficiently they've made it work. Using renewable power like solar or wind, Toyota's engineers power this process cleanly. High temperature electrolysis cuts electricity needs and new materials reduce costs by avoiding rare metals. The hydrogen they extract can be stored and used later with no emissions, just water vapor. It's a complete cycle. Water goes in, powers a car, and comes back out as steam. Toyota didn't invent electrolysis, they made it practical. Their focus isn't just on driving, but on producing hydrogen sustainably and affordably. They're building a system, not just a machine. No charging delays, no heavy mining, 
just water, air and power. Toyota's design answers a critical question, can we fuel transportation without damaging the planet? If this technology scales, the answer might be yes without compromise and without carbon. Here's how Toyota's hydrogen-powered engine works. First, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. The hydrogen is stored in secure tanks built to withstand heat and high pressure. When the car is in motion, hydrogen enters a fuel cell. There it reacts with oxygen from the air, producing electricity. That electricity powers the motor, the only exhaust water vapor. The experience is seamless. Refueling takes under five minutes. Toyota's tanks, made from carbon reinforced materials, are strong, light and smart. Sensors detect leaks instantly and shut the system down. Venting systems keep passengers safe in emergencies. The system doesn't just work, it works cleanly and quietly. No long waits, no smoke, no engine roar. It feels like driving a high-end electric car but with one difference. There's no massive battery underneath. What Toyota has created is not just a new drivetrain. It's a clean, efficient replacement for everything combustion engines left behind. Meet the Mirai, Toyota's flagship hydrogen car. The Mirai is more than a prototype. It's Toyota's proof of concept on wheel. First launched in 2014, this hydrogen-powered sedan was built to show what's possible. Its latest model travels over 400 miles on a single fill. Refueling is done in just five minutes. It delivers 182 horsepower, 300 newton meters of torque, and a quiet, luxurious ride. But the real magic is under the hood. No tailpipe emissions, no batteries to charge, just compressed hydrogen reacting in a fuel cell to create motion and mist. Toyota refined every element, from the storage tanks to the fuel cell stack, making it safer, lighter, and more efficient. The Mirai isn't a car of the future, it's a car of now. Already on roads in Japan, California and Europe. With each version it gets cheaper, stronger and more viable. Toyota isn't asking for belief. They've built the case piece by piece in metal, water and motion. Water-powered cars, however, have a long history. From Stanley Meyer's dune buggy in the 90s to JPX's claims in 2008, the concept often faced challenges. 